Mervyn Bishop, the self-described little black boy from Brewarrina, has captured some of the key moments in our history through his lens. Well, I'll be looking forward to having one of your famous slide nights like oh, you used right. to do when you were a kid. Yeah. What about, I'll sit here, eh? This is great. Oh, great pick, yeah. this one. Lionel Rose on his way over to America to successfully defend his world bantamweight title. That was 1968. Oh, it's a classic image. I mean, he was, you know, at the time and still now, he was a celebrity, wasn't he? Oh, a yeah. A real when... superstar. So full of kind of optimism mm. and, you know, fit and young, healthy. It's great. And this is one of your, of course, iconic images. Has been subject to all sorts of interpretations. It has, <laughs> it has, yes. Um, I won News Photographer of the Year in 1971. Life and Death Dash. Life and Death Dash. It's taken outside St Margaret's Hospital up in Darlinghurst. The mother of the child had brought two children in of a suspected overdose. They got out of the car and the mother was a bit upset, but me and the journalist from the Sydney Morning Herald, Graham Davis, were there, and uh, the little boy started to cry. And so Sister Anne Byrne picked him up. The camera was just set up to a certain spot, and I just flicked around and clicked. That was about 1974. It was taken at Ewan de Moo. Is it some sort of women's Women. course or something? Or yeah, women's it was centre? in a centre at Ewan de Moo, and they used to go in and virtually learn about domestic duties. Mm. What cold power is. <laughs> oh, yes. I like this image because the light coming through the window mm. gives it a nice feel to it. But it's sort of quiet contemplation, you know, yes. oblivious yeah. to your presence, just yeah. getting on with the uh, Do you think that being, you know, being Aboriginal yourself made it easier to, to sort of connect with people and get them to sort of be relaxed mm. around you and stuff? Oh, some places, I think, there was, they were quite surprised and amazed that uh, they had a black photographer taking pictures. Yeah. Mm. And of course, me not coming from that area or that country, uh, I'd explain where I'd come from and mm. my background. And uh, when we'd sort of made that connection and introduction, we got on okay. Sometimes it didn't work so good. Uh, people didn't want to be photographed. Mm. And I could understand that. They, they, they felt intimidated. They felt shamed, you know, of their mm. conditions. and. Uh, I was trying to kind of explain, I said, well, if we show the conditions that you're living in now, mm. maybe pay yeah. attention to it, mm. might be able to make your conditions better. Where are we doing? Kempsey? No. It's just, just outside of Kempsey at the uh, Burnt Bridge. There's a little community there, and some of the people were living in makeshift housing. This is inside, oh, it was virtually a, like a container, and uh, I was invited in for a cup of tea. This was lovely. This is the lady of the house. And you can just see it's a power cord running across there, and that's a live power cord. And that ran up to Ooh. two other caravans further in that setup where the other people were living. This is the year of Australia's bicentenary. And this is and this was, our this people's was housing time. conditions for Aboriginal people at that time, 200 mm. years later.